Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna um, do some uh, hot chocolate mix from scratch. So the first thing, well, some of the ingredients you're gonna need, you're gonna need a bowl, like a large bowl. So make sure it's a pretty good size bowl. You're gonna need um, baking cocoa, uh, unsweetened. You're gonna need some um, instant non-fat dry milk and powdered sugar. So I already mixed up some here, but I'm just gonna go through it really quick and tell you exactly what you need. So the first thing that you need is, um, you're gonna need a, Oops. you're gonna need to have, oh, also have your measuring cup, spoon, whatever you got, make sure you have a one cup measuring spoon or cup, like I said, or you can use one of these, whatever, whatever's easiest. Um, so you're gonna need two cups of powdered sugar. You're gonna need a cup of the cocoa, and then you're gonna need two cups of your instant milk. So you're gonna take all of that, you're gonna put it into this bowl. Oh, also, you will need a sifter. Now I only have like one of these little like hand sifters, but if you have a manual sifter, that would be ideal because this does take forever to do. Um, but anyway, so just put it all inside of here and then you're gonna take, just to like mix it up before you sift it, <clears throat> just take it, mix it around. You kind of just wanna like incorporate it. As soon as I get this in, I'll show you what I mean. So mix it up, pretty good. Okay, so um, this is what your mix is going to look like. Let me see here. That's what your mix is going to look like. It's going to be super lumpy. <clears throat> There's going to be, <clears throat> excuse me, chunks of like the confectioner sugar and everything. So now it's going to be time to sift. So we're going to grab our sifter. I, I sifted some already, so I'll show you that in a second. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your hand sifter. Like I said, if you have a manual sifter, so much easier, so much better. This method takes forever, but that's okay. So you're gonna sift. You're gonna sit here and sift, and I'm gonna come over here to the, you're gonna sit and you're gonna sift this. Let me just move. Like I said, this method takes forever. If you have a actual handheld sifter, that manually works, that would be a lot better than this method. Okay, almost done with this. And then I'll show you, see how you can see the chunks in there? You wanna just keep sifting, keep sifting. And then you're gonna be left with this. This is what you're gonna see. And that's exactly what you want. So you're gonna take that part, you're gonna discard it. Okay, let me just get my spoon here. And this is the finished, this is the actual finished product. Okay, so now this is the finished product. I just stuck mine inside of a mason jar. Um, I put marshmallows on top. You can do mini marshmallows, you could put sprinkles, you could put nuts, toffee, whatever you want inside of here. Um, or you could just put it in a mason jar, air, an airtight jar, whatever type of jar or container you have is going to be fine for it. Um, but I was thinking more on the lines of like gift giving and stuff. So this is what I would do. Just put it in a mason jar here, a little tag on it. And it's good to go. Finished product, easy, simple. You can give it as a gift for, you know, like Christmas or a little holiday party or something, or you can just keep it at home just like this. Like I said, quick, easy, and it tastes absolutely wonderful. Thank you so much for watching this video.